Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we discuss the Vacheron Constantin Patrimony Contemporain 81110. That's the reference. 40 millimeters is the size. PT950 is the material. This is a watch that has mass to it in proportion to its class with a solid platinum dial to match a solid platinum case and a solid platinum case back. Eyes closed, this could be a big burly sports watch by virtue of its mass alone, but the slim profile of this 40 millimeter watch, which is almost a lenticular knife blade, only seven millimeters thick and extraordinary in its profile, this is the ultimate cuff-friendly timepiece. It's not small, though. At 40 millimeters, it's contemporary men's dress size, but it is compact across the case uh, from lug to lug, only 45.6 millimeters. So you can wear this watch, which does have a bold presence because of its size, but you can wear it comfortably on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. The spacing between the lugs is fairly standard at 20 millimeters, meaning you will have a bevy of OEM and aftermarket options if you want to accessorize. You can also see that the strap is nicely made. Vacheron factory piece in outstanding condition. The timepiece with a thin profile. The strap should be thin to match a thin watch. Highest grade large rectangular scale alligator leather. Navy blue monotone stitch. And you can see that the edge is actually a sheer profile and you can see the layers of construction. The buckle PT950 of course platinum to match a platinum watch. You would think that would be universal in the industry. For some reason it's not. I applaud Vacheron for doing the right thing. The case is almost blade like and it's hard for me to even get it in the focal plane. But you can see the edge is sharply defined. It's the junction between the case band and the bezel that principally forms the horizontal surface of the watch across the wrist. And then there's a slight outward step of the lugs. They're not completely integrated Calatrava style. There is a sharp cleft between the case band, which is nicely rounded and bowl shaped, and the black polished faces of the lugs. So though they're small, they do have an independent sculptural form and beauty. They contribute considerably to the visual strength of this watch. The dial, all of platinum, and I do mean all of platinum, you'll note PT950 actually written on the dial right between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Solid platinum dial, media blasted. You can see it has a pebbly textured grain that is simply exquisite. It glows warmly in light rather than exploding like a grained sunburst. A directional grain and a matte finish, very different. Vacheron chose right here. You can also see that there's a little bit of a contrast between the white gold indices and the platinum dial. And here you really get to appreciate the difference between white gold and platinum. Platinum is a much whiter material. And although these are polished and black polished, hand applied white gold indices, they almost look dark against the platinum dial base, which is both a wonderful trick for clarity of time as well as a handsome artistic element that speaks to the degree of refinement and subtlety inherent in this watch. Two hands, because you need no more. This is a watch that takes its time in slow increments. A small polished dimple style minute track outboard being the only concession to small intervals, and an applique white gold Vacheron Constantin Maltese Cross logo up at 12 you can see that there's a little bit of a countersink to the crown into the case band and the bezel to lower its profile. And then you turn it all over and you appreciate the fact that Vacheron really went all out to deliver the ultimate in slim profiles. Display case backs add thickness. They also reduce the rigidity of the watch. And as a ultra thin platinum case, it's highly likely that this case back is here not just to add to the slimness of it, or perhaps detract from the thickness, but also to add physical structural integrity to the case. Now underneath Vacheron Constantin Manufacture Caliber 1400 manual wind, it features a 40 hour power reserve, it pivots on 20 joules, it's adjusted in a chronometer like five position and blazon with the Geneva hallmark. So the ultimate in integrity, fine finish where only your watchmaker will ever see it, but you have the psychic satisfaction of knowing your watch is as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside. The movement only 2.6 millimeters thick, beaten away at a modern high beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. 30 meters water resistant, but that 30 meters of water resistance should remain theoretical. Please don't test it. That's what the overseas is for. This one is for a night out on the town. Anytime you want to get wild, just not when you want to get wet. This is the Vacheron Constantin Patrimony Contemporain 81110. See it on the watch box.